How are you, my friends? This is another pre-calculus challenging question. If one minus cosine of four x all divided by sine of four x is equal to k tan of x divided by m plus n times secant squared of the x. So change the left side to be similar to the right side. Then find the value of k times m times n. Now we start with the left side and we can see that the left side is a tangent of half angle backward because we know one minus cosine of u divided by sine of u. This is exactly tan u over two. So this is one minus cosine four x. Four x is like u now. So the left side, we can write it as tan half the angle four x divided by two, which is two x. Now, tan of 2x, we have another formula for double angle. So, 2 tan of x divided by 1 minus tan squared of the x. Now, remember the formula 1 plus tan squared of theta is equal to secant squared of theta. Tan squared of theta will be minus 1 on the other side plus secant squared of theta. So, I can replace this tan squared of the x inside the bracket here with y minus 1 plus secant squared of the theta which is the x in this case. So one minus times minus one becomes one. So there's a two there minus secant squared of the x. Now compare here. So k is two, m also is two, and n is the coefficient of secant squared of the x will be minus one. So when you multiply k times m times n, you will get minus four. Now, for more questions on double and half angles identities, you can see all the exams pre-calculus solved questions or the pre-calculus course lectures 23 and 24. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you guys for listening.